We're tracking those showers for tonight. Not only are we seeing showers here in northwest Ohio, but a good portion of the region really seeing some rain. But looking off to our northwest, they're seeing some snow. We're not forecasting any snow, at least as of now, but we're really focusing on those rain showers for this evening. We'll get breaks from the rain off and on throughout tonight, but really just focusing on light rain. Nothing strong or severe and nothing really too concerning, but we're really focusing on these temperatures as well. Seeing temperatures here at this dinner time hour in the 40s and also in the 50s, but widening out the bigger picture, quite a contrast. Oh my goodness. Just look at Texas alone. Dallas is at 43. San Antonio in the 60s, a good portion of the central plains in the 20s and the 30s here in northwest Ohio. We're in the 40s and the 50s. Look at Atlanta at 80 degrees, New Orleans at 85, DC at 74 degrees. So a lot of places feeling this Arctic chill and in fact millions of people already under a freeze alert. So we head on into Monday also into Tuesday spanning from the southwest into Texas, the central plains, the mid south and us here in the Midwest. Now this freeze watch is and again in effect from Monday night and also into Tuesday morning. But first let's pay attention to this rain. Is not going to last the entire night. We can see a good portion of the evening hours. So trying to get that post dinner stroll. If you want to get outside, you can. But it's going to be cold. Also, will be wet. Those showers push on out of here right after midnight, but still could see some of that light rain mist and drizzle overnight and also into Monday morning. But really looking at overcast skies and colder temperatures push on through as we head on into Monday morning and throughout the afternoon. Temperatures by lunchtime tomorrow will be in the upper 30s and the low 40s. We'll start to get breaks in the clouds throughout the afternoon. A mixture of sunshine and clouds, but look at our highs for tomorrow. Only in the mid 40s. We cool back down overnight. And remember, that's when that freeze watch is in effect. Monday night into Tuesday morning, temperatures dip back down to the upper 20s and the low 30s. And this is Halloween morning, mind you. Still, a cold start to the day. We'll slowly warm back up to the low 40s by Tuesday afternoon. It's going to be chilly for trick or treat. Stopping this right around 5 o'clock, upper 30s and the low 40s once again. So as far as Halloween goes, it's going to be cold. Our forecasted high is 43 and that's in the afternoon. So right around 3 to 4, even 5 o'clock in the low 40s. But factor in the wind and also factor in just the cloud cover. We're not seeing much, so it's still going to be chilly in the low 40s. But look at this as we head on into the almost middle of November, November 5th to the 11th, seeing seasonal temperatures and our average highs by then are in the upper 50s, even mid 50s, depending on where you are, especially the further north you go. But at least we'll be around average, thankfully, finally warming up. But remember, our average highs continue to cool down as we head on into those winter months. Two days until Halloween, seven days. So a week from today, we change our clocks. Technically, Saturday night, early Sunday morning at 2 a.m., 25 days until Thanksgiving, and Christmas is 57 days away. It's not feeling like Christmas, but definitely seeing some more of that chilly, brisk air. 45s are forecasted high for Monday with a mixture of sunshine and clouds. 43 for Halloween. There's a very small chance for a rain snow mixture late Tuesday and also into Wednesday. Wednesday right now looks to be the coldest day with highs around 41 degrees, burr. But by the end of the week, we're finally back to around average in the upper 50s. 